What's up, home nuggets? Okay, so it's been a very long time since I've made a video, and that is because I have been completely exhausted. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you bodybuilders do it, especially you fit freaking healthy women with with kids and a, and a husband and a clean house and like how do you do it what are you doing seriously I need one of those tw time twisty thingies from Harry Potter I almost bought one of those for myself but I figured somebody would recognize it and then I'd be a geek but whatever so yeah um, my days are looking like I get up at the crack of dawn in the morning because the dog needs to go potty so I get up and I let her out after whining and scratching and crying bless her heart then I go ahead and get the kids ready for school drop them off boom hit the gym cardio 60 minutes do my whatever Jamie Easton live fit trainer and I've been doing that for three weeks y'all it's been a month I started August 7th which is when the schools down in Georgia started so it's been about a month I am not seeing results on the scales but who cares about that I got measured I did everything that I'm, you're supposed to do in the beginning when you <laughs> first start. Like, I haven't even taken my before picture yet. But I seriously, I don't think I've changed. In fact, in fact, I think I've gotten bigger. Like I said in my previous video, I think my muscles are making things bigger. Which is cool. I did um, a body fat calibration and a big old bod pod. And that was really cool. Got to talk to uh, a dietitian and a nutritionist about what goes in what goes out good stuff to eat look at your body this is what da, 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 da. it was great you know most of the stuff I already know I mean if you've been trying to lose weight for as long as I have I'd be surprised if you didn't know what LDLs are and what your carbs should be. you know what I mean I know that crap it's just it has nothing to do with knowledge it's everything to do with application right okay so I made an appointment to see a personal trainer even though I didn't want to do that because in my happy little world I'm doing enough. I go to the gym, I eat right, I exercise, and then I go home, man, and I'm tired. So what a trainer to me is, is me relinquishing control. Because you know how sometimes you can sabotage yourself. And I'm, I do that sometimes. So um, I just want to talk to her about the question about whether I should eat first before workouts or whether I should, um, you know, what what I should have immediately following a workout about supplements and stuff. And she was like, well, I'm here on Wednesdays, girl. I can train you. And I was like, oh, that's, I don't need that. You know, it'd be okay if, we, okay, well, all right. Because I'm intimidated by trainers and their fit bodies and their intense eyes. So I go there today and I'm like, I'm just going to do my cardio. She wasn't there. Uh, and I was probably about an hour and a half early for our appointment. See, my, my plan, my little devious plan was I was going to get that workout and see her and say, Oh, was our appointment at 9 30? I was one. Well, I got to go now. See, that's deceptive. And I got caught. Anyway, I saw her working out another girl. And I was like, Okay, well, I can do that stuff. That's fine. <sighs> this girl is fit, tough, like competition body fit. I mean, that's what I want to be. Um, but she sat me down she said, look, Michelle, you have to force your body to change. Your body is going to adapt to whatever you do, no matter what, how long you do it. You can sit here and lift this 25 pound weight on your arms. And as long as just all you do, nothing is ever going to change. You have to push your body for it to, for you to see results, which I was like, okay, that's whatever. Um, she worked me out. So, <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was like, if I pass out, literally pass out. She was like taking the weights from me. Like, are you okay? Because I was like, I'm not used to this stuff. We did deadlifts. We did a lot of plyometrics, which is Hades. Hades covered with poopy. A lot of leg curls. I'm, I'm, I'm happy though. I'm proud of myself. Because at the time, I was dying. Like, I looked at her and I said, tell my kids I love them. Uh, tell my husband, you know he can remarry because I was dead I was dying I was gonna I was laying on the floor but afterwards I felt good you know how you get that post workout high and you're like wow let's do it again what am I saying um so yeah I worked out with a trainer and I survived and I'm very happy um my body fat percentage 
it's ridiculous it is 41 percent i mean a couple extra numbers and i'm half fat <laughs> that sucks <laughs> um but see i need i needed this stuff i needed to be able to talk to somebody i need somebody to whip me into shape how much i don't like it you know nobody wants to be told to get out of your comfort zone but that's what you have to do to lose weight clearly because you're just about too comfortable about 41 pounds too comfortable so um that happened and that's why i've been so exhausted and that's why i've been really slacking on making videos because after i'm done with that workout two feet in the door and i'm passed out on the floor and then i gotta go get the kids and then it's like there's no time but anyway you gotta make time for yourself um i remember watching the biggest loser and one of the most inspirational people that i remember was a lady up there and she got kicked off the ranch so early and she went home and she went on, went on to lose like 70 pounds by herself at home. She had a full-time job, she had four children, she had a family to take care of. And she got up every morning at four o'clock in the morning and worked out for an hour. Went to work, did what she had to do with the husband and kids and at night at like six o'clock or seven o'clock at night she worked out for another hour. Like, cause that's the only time she had to work out. She did that mess every single day and st like what? <sighs> it's hard losing weight. And hearing stories like that is very motivational, inspirational, and motivational. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a rant and tell you why I've been MIA and that there are more videos to come, I promise, because I'm starting to um, miss this. You know, I'm missing YouTube. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later and I will keep you guys updated on my um, progress when I see some. No, I'm, I'm getting stronger. I know I am. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.